So we're in Fresno, California. We just finished doing a little uh, a, a, a finished project for a remodel we did here. And uh, it just consists of two lavatory faucets and of course a toilet and then some shower trim. So um, we'll go over the basics and I'll get into some of the details about the products we've installed. Uh, this is American Standard, the faucets, widespread. <clears throat> Not a bad mounting system. The cut sheet that we had actually showed um, a, a nut with two stainless steel set screws instead of just one nut that turns and tightens. The, the thing I don't like about that is as you tighten, it spins the whole assembly. Uh, with the other system, a lot of manufacturers now, it's one large nut, brass nut, that screws on up to a point, and then two to three stainless steel screws do the rest, and it, so it tightens straight down and pulls the faucet into place. So uh, anyways, a little fussy, no big deal. Uh, you know, nice looking faucet, good flow and everything. A um, little fussy with the drain assembly, you know, this one was leaking. Uh, they, came, they came with some white foam that goes in there. And this sink actually is, is a little deformed in here. You know, for that foam, getting it's, and it's foam, I would prefer to see rubber, but what happened is, you know, you could imagine it, if it's supposed to be a constant, you know, slope around the edge of the seals, it wasn't. So it was hitting here and here, but there was a gap on this side and this side. So anyways, we got it to stop leaking. Um, and then on that one over there, we just we had to take, the, take it all the way out the foam and put putty in there because it wouldn't stop leaking. You can see the water's kind of pooled up around there so it's not quite reaching over the edge and draining entirely. But, uh, so monitor these areas. So, I mean the whole bathroom obviously, but um, you know, underneath here you can see you got the drawer that slides out. So uh, monitor that. Any water you see back there and then, you know, occasionally you've got, let me see. No, you, the waters are out far enough, but the, the waters that are stubbed out, um, I would say go ahead and Take a peek back there occasionally too. Make sure you don't have any weeping, dripping, spraying, anything like that. Um, you know, let us know. We'll come out and take care of it if it does. But, uh, so keep an eye on that. And uh, right now the, the, the good indication is the drawer is dry, which means the drain is not leaking. And uh, so that looks good. Anyway, so uh, the finished part is setting the faucet, setting the, you know, getting a piece of pipe stub out of the wall, coming out there, and then a tubular P-trap, tubular extension up to the drain assembly. And uh, so that's good. So I'm not going to take a picture of the other side. It's identical except for it's spun the other way. So everything's good down here. Faucets are working good. Um, shower trim, uh, not, not fond of it either. It's got a plastic mounting bracket behind here. Uh, so it's got a large, a large plastic bracket that actually screws, screws to the valve. Uh, top left, bottom right, and then it's got a another, and it's plastic with a gasket. Then another plastic retainer that's screwed, two screws here, two screws on the other side, and they're stainless steel wood screws that actually taps into that first piece of plastic, and then the whole, this whole assembly snaps on. So you'll see movement here uh, on that cover plate. It is sealed. If you get a lot of water on here, it's going to roll behind, so I'd recommend taking a little bit of clear silicone and putting it around here if that concerns you at all. We would have done it, but uh, I don't have any in my bag right now. Uh, it is sealed. That is the way that this is supposed to sit. You can see the movement in there. That's not me. That's the manufacturer. And so we've used, uh, we've worked on these in the past, and I wasn't fond of them then. I'm not fond of them now. I believe that you should have either here, this should be a nut that turns and pulls the plate against the wall, and the gasket should be on the plate behind it. Um, or screws through it, something. But this, it just leaves it kind of floating in the breeze. So uh, not our deal, it's on. We're not gonna turn the faucet on right now because there's no shower doors in yet and we don't wanna flood out this area right here. Rain shower head is in. We've got a Upon R90 in the wall. So with this long arm, I would recommend do not move that around uh, much at all. There, you're gonna, you're gonna find quite a bit of movement in there. The reason being is we had a, a when you rough in the plumbing up there, you're gonna have a, a galvanized or a brass nipple stubbed out, which is a larger outside diameter than the tubular, which is, that arm is tubular. And uh, so it's quite a bit uh, thinner material, so not as large outside diameter. And so when you stick it back in the hole, um, you don't have that support anymore. So it's gonna move. That thing's gonna move up and down, side to side. And, uh, you know, if you get too crazy with that thing, start hanging stuff on it and bouncing around. You know, if you try and do pull-ups on there, it's going to break. Uh, so just, you know, kind of, if I, I would just kind of leave it where it's at. Get a nice spot for uh, where it's comfortable for both uh, both people and, and then just leave it alone up there. Uh, anyway, so it works good. We, we tested it out. We had a bucket underneath here and ran water. Hot, cold, hot temperature was good. So you're, you're good. Uh, 
Uh, last one is the toilet. Toilet was a big chunk of poop. I mean, uh, that's the nicest thing I can say about it. It's a Kohler, I love Kohler. Uh, in this case, and we took a separate picture before we installed this. We, installed, we had to install it once, show the homeowner, and uh, it was just horrible. We had it planted down in the back, so it was nice and flat. That back portion from the back of the toilet to this seam, everything was nice and flat, good. From here up, it was about a half inch off the floor. And we thought, well, that's, you know, that's not right. So we went ahead and pulled the toilet back up. Home owner went and got some more wax rings and we reset it. What we did is we put some shims in the back corner on both sides of the toilet. And then when we set it back down, it did bring it down substantially in the front, but not entirely. So it's still up off the ground. So it's up off the ground in the back, up off the ground in the front. We've got a sh two shims in the front portion, a shim where the, where the bolt's at, uh, shim in the back right here. Same thing on either side. So one, uh, two, three, four, four on each side. So eight shims, hard plastic so they won't move to support this toilet. Um, we did take a level and place it across the bottom of the toilet. What we'll do is we'll include that picture when we send you a receipt. And um, the toilet is, is um, not defective, but it's not manufactured correctly. And the reason why is the toilet it actually, let me see if I can take a picture here. Uh, you know, instead of going straight across, exaggerating, the toilet comes this way and then back up in the front. So at that seam, it's, it goes back up a hill and that's why it's so high. And so we took a picture of that just so we could try and figure out what was happening with that toilet. And uh, we spent a lot of time on this, so we're not thrilled. Uh, you know, we got caulking in there, but there's so much caulking, it's hard to tool. We got these little hexagon, um, uh, tiles down here so every time you pull that caulking across there it spreads across the grout line you got to go back with a little knife and try and pull it out without damaging the nice reveal so forgive us for that one thing um, you know I'm not thrilled I mean it's acceptable let's put it that way it's not perfect but if you sit there and stare at it and you're unhappy feel free to pull it back out and put your own in or put some clear in I don't know what to tell you, but we spent, you know, about an hour in here trying to get a, an, a, an additional hour to hour, hour and a half, probably hour and a half working on this toilet. So no extra charge, just uh, I think Kohler made a made a mistake, at least on that one toilet. Hopefully they're not all that way. Anyways, nice toilet, flush as well. Uh, you know, got the braided stainless steel supply on there, new shutoff valve, uh, everything. So anyways, uh, everything looks good in here. Um, unfortunately, in the, in the cabinets right here, unless the... If the inspector doesn't say anything, you're gonna be okay. But as you can see in the back, uh, those holes in the back of the cabinet do not have to be covered. Unfortunately, the sheetrock is not sealed, uh, which means when you put the sheetrock in, cut the holes around there, uh, normally what you'll do is you'll take some tape and you'll tape, you'll tape the sheetrock and then you'll put some joint compound on there and seal it so it's sealed around the piping. Because it's open to the wall, the student inspector may not like that, so you might have to squirt some caulking in there. Um, so, I mean, there's nothing we can do with that. Uh, the holes are drilled in the wrong location. They're a little, you can see the holes a little high. So even a, any kind of a cover plate isn't gonna cover that hole. Uh, so anyways, just some caulking in there. Um, you know, if that bothers you too much, I guess you could go over to Ferguson and get some split discussions. Uh, that's half inch IPS and they open and close right there. Um, like I say, if those holes were center, then they would probably cover the hole. But because they're not, you know, they're probably the top of the holes are going to peek out a little bit. Um, guess we could run over and grab those if we have some time here. Anyway, so that's just a little nit and a pick. And then the drain assembly, same thing. You know, uh, that we can't get a how a pi a f Sorry, and discussion over that because the fitting is coming through the wall, and those uh, are required by City of Fresno, those long term names. Anyway, so details, details. Um, he may or may not say anything, totally up to the inspector, but anyways, the bathroom's functional. Sinks work, toilet works, shower works. Uh, I guess you're waiting for glass, I'll come get the glass in, and then you're good to go in here. Uh, outside of that, this installation is done.